Someone's been a naughty boy. Richard Hart has been charged for fraud by the SEC. That means he's been naughty. Now, I woke up this morning, picked up my phone, and had a look at the headlines and realized that he is going to be charged. Now, I did a video about him a wee while ago, his company Hex, and I said some fundamental things. If it involves cryptocurrency, involves multi-level marketing, you can bet your bottom dollar it's a scam or someone who is running a business like a Ponzi scheme. And that's where I come in. Danny DeHeck, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. And I thought what I would do is we'll just have a look at some of the headlines that the local papers have been publishing and just take it as we go. This is what we call a gloating se session. 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 Because every day you just hope that one of these guys that's been taking people for a ride actually gets put under the spotlight and scrutinized. And so many of them get away with it. Now this guy, if you look at the background picture, this is his updated Lear jet. You can see it's been added a few bars, so he's now a flight risk. So these guys literally flutter around the countryside buying um, all sorts of things. How about this? The SEC alleges Richard Hart used at least $12 million in investor funds to purchase luxury goods. It's just, um, you know, this guy, you know, living the life of Riley when he's taking everyone's money. No one ever questions the facts. We're just going to listen to a few of the headlines. SEC sues crypto influencer for allegedly buying sports cars and a rare black diamond with investor funds. Who the hell needs a black diamond? I mean, what is a black diamond? I mean, it's just way above my pay scale. But anyway, you can read all about it. I will probably, uh, I'm actually not going to put all the links to the articles because if you just search Richard Hart and Hex, you'll find all these articles just published on the 31st of July and it's now the 1st of uh, August. Hope I got that right. Anyway, what's the next one? I just love reading these headlines. These make me really happy. US Sex says Hex Crypto founder defrauded investors. Spent money on Enigma Diamond. Enigma Diamond. So a black diamond must be an Enigma Diamond. I reckon we're all going to find out about diamonds in the next two, next few minutes. There's only going to be a short video. But why did he need the diamond? Is he in love? Who's he in love with? What What is he going to do with the diamond? Where is he going to put the diamond? How is he going to hide the diamond? Now, if he gets brought in and put in jail, will he still have the body uh, inside? No, I won't go there. Anyway, so you can read that one. That's, um, I always forget how to read that, but that's a, a really good source. Reuters. Reuters, that's right. All right, next headline. Let's carry on and see what else we can find out about them. Oh, it won't work. Why is my computer going funny? Somebody's trying to give me adverts. Okay, SEC sues Richard Hart and his project Hex, Pulse Chain and Pulse X for fraud security violations. Now, I didn't really know what fraud security violations are, so I asked ChatGPT to tell me some words for my thing. First of all, I asked ChatGPT to tell me just who Richard was, and it might be of interest to you just to listen to what he's all about. So let's uh, see if we can highlight. I'm not very good at highlighting today. Let's have a quick listen. Richard Hart is a prominent figure in the cryptocurrency community and the founder of Hex, a blockchain-based project. Hex is a decentralized finance DeFi, platform built on the Ethereum blockchain that allows users to stake their tokens and earn rewards. Richard Hart mm. gained recognition in the cryptocurrency space through his active presence on social media, particularly on YouTube and Twitter. He is known for promoting and advocating cryptocurrencies, especially Hex. Hart's marketing and promotional strategies have generated both support and criticism from the crypto community. Please keep in mind that the cryptocurrency space is constantly evolving, and there might have been developments or changes related to Richard Hart and Hex after my last update. For the latest information, I recommend checking recent sources and news about Richard Hart and the Hex project. Yeah, so let's go do that. We'll go around looking for some papers. But basically, if you are going to take investors' funds and you claim that you've got security, you need to put these securities somewhere safe. So I'm just going to have a quick listen so you know exactly what he's been charged When someone with. refers to unregistered securities offerings, they are typically talking about the sale or issuance of securities, such as stocks, bonds, or investment contracts, that have not been properly registered with the appropriate regulatory authorities such as the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC or similar regulatory bodies in other countries. 
All right, so that's enough of the boring stuff, but I didn't quite understand it, and I thought maybe there's a few people like me who don't quite understand it. But basically, if you're going to put up a billion-dollar um, shed of gold uh, as security for people who want to invest in you, then you need to actually make sure that a billion-dollar shed full of gold is actually registered with a proper, authentic um um, company organizations so that, that if you need to pull that security, you can say, well, here's all the paperwork. I've got everything in order, but he hasn't done that. No, he's a naughty boy. Let's carry on. Let's see what else he's got. Um, I'm just going to read the headlines with a computer because if I try reading them, you won't like my video. And I hope. US SEC sues Richard Hart, Hex, Pulse Chain on unregistered securities, fraud allegations. Interesting. Um, yeah, so if you could like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified when you... You'll be notified when new videos come out. This is only a quickie. Hart raised over $1 billion across three different unregistered securities offerings, the SEC alleged. Every time I hear guys like this and that we talk in the billions, I always feel proud of Elon Musk. Now, he's built his company up. If you've ever um, thought you want to know more about Elon Musk's story, I just listened to his book. It took a long time. It's a very big book, but his story is pretty amazing. These guys' stories, you know, to get a billion dollars worth of money in your company within three or four years is pretty amazing. However, not if you're going to lie, cheat, and steal. And that's obviously what this guy has been doing. Of course, he's only been, um, he's been sued. He hasn't been charged for anything yet. So let's keep a listen. SEC charges Richard Hart and Pulse Chain with civil fraud. I always like reading the headlines. They always change um you know the different they pick on the different highlighted parts we're just going to go through a few just to bore you uh founder hart with one billion dollars unregistered security forward hex founder richard hart and three entries oh so he's got three does that mean he's got three other business partners that have also been charged hex founder richard hart and three entities have been charged today for allegedly conducting unregistered crypto asset securities offerings oh three entities that must be the pulse x and the other one that we had, what did we have? The three entities. Oh, there's an Enigma Diamond again. There it is, Pulse X, Pulse Change, and Hex have all been charged. That's what I got out of that. Um, did we get to there? I'm going to bore you guys pretty quick. All right, yep, we have. So now we're on to CNBC, whoever that is. I think that's a big um, organization. Let's have a listen to their headline. SEC sues entrepreneur alleging $1 billion in unregistered crypto sales and multi-million dollar fraud. Now imagine that guy. I don't know about you, but if I was ever a naughty boy like Richard and that guy was pointing his finger at me in his lovely press suit, well, I'd be a bit concerned. Um, what does they say? Let's have a listen. This looks pretty good. This is in Washington. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler participates in a meeting of the Financial Stability Oversight Council at the U.S. Treasury on July 28th. 2023 in Washington, D.C. Oh, so what effects will this have on different people? So here's, so you've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Tumble after the... Let's just listen Bitcoin, to it. Ethereum, Dogecoin, Tumble after SEC lawsuit against internet marketer Richard Hart. Analyst says July wasn't the best month for ETH. Predicts rally in these two months. Now, the funny thing is, at the moment, I've been following a Ponzi scheme called We Are All Satoshi, and they're all actually, as we speak, meeting in Dubai, and you see all these photos popping up of them all having fun. And Sam Lee, which was the guy behind Hyperverse, Hyperfund, well, Hypercapital, sorry, let's go back to Hypertech Group, Hypercapital, Hyperfund, Hyperverse, Hypernation, I always forget one, Hypercosmos, uh, Hyperplanet, and Hyperstore. Now, He's revitalizing Hyperverse. Yes, you heard it here first. There's a video, a couple of videos back. The funny thing about that, if there is a funny thing, is he claims that with his We Are All Satoshi, that when you put your money in there, um, you can put $300 in, you can buy your initial membership, you can buy your left leg and your right leg, $300, very similar to Hyperverse, that um, he's going to take 30% of that money and put it in what he calls his Vault Horizon. And the Vault Horizon purpose is he's got access to discounted Bitcoin. Yes, you heard it here right. And he's going to lock the Bitcoin away for 500 days. And in 500 days, he reckons Bitcoin's going to be worth $100,000 each. And then he's, he's going to have all this Bitcoin secured and it's going to be scarce, and it's going to be worth a lot more than $100, and then he's going to release it, people are going to buy it, and then all the people that trusted this one guy called 
um, Sam Lee, he's going to share that wealth with everyone. Now, Sam Lee has actually stolen $50 million from Australian investors with his company, Blockchain Global. And I did a video about that just a few videos back. So I'm, I'm sort of saying to the people that are what, following him around, worshiping him at the moment, you know, why are you doing this? You know, it's sort of, um, I'm getting a bit, I better get into it now. So right now, people are trusting that Sam Lee's a good guy. He's actually put his passport online. He's telling people that if he is doing anything wrong, come after him. But he's living in Dubai. No one's going to come after you, Sam. We can't, you know, there's laws in Dubai. That's why you're living there. And that's why you're not coming back to visit your friends in Australia. So it's just disgusting that these guys are doing that and these are everyday occurrence. So when I wake up in the morning, I grab my phone, and I look at the news headlines, I just think, wonder if it's going to be Sam Lee, wonder if it's going to be Ryan Jew, wonder if it's going to be Brenda Chunder, wonder if it's going to be Keith Williams, wonder if it's going to be Kalpesh Patel, wonder if it's going to be Rodney Ford, wonder if it's going to be Susan Lawrence, wonder if it's going to be um uh oh, I've got I've just got names all over the place. All these people who are actually doing the crime are the people who promote these schemes. So you've got the Richard Hart who's just been locked up. Well, not locked up. He's been um, charged by the SEC for a whole lot of crimes, and he can take, you know, he he can take um, one for the team. But it's the people that have been promoting his platform and getting the commission money out of it are the thieves. The same with Hyperverse. 52% of the money that hit the platform went straight out and paid the VIP fives. A VIP five was talking to me the other day. They said that they had only made $100,000 out of it, but their team had brought in $10 million. And then they said they're now trying to do a class action lawsuit to help people get their one times initial investment back. And the only reason they think that's legitimate is because somebody said that, oh, there may be a way of getting your initial investment back. And everyone else hangs on to hope and they go out there and preach that message. But in fact, what they're actually doing is they are um, they are actually taking the limelight away from themselves and hoping that people won't say, I'm going to sue you because you gave me financial advice and got me into this Ponzi scheme. And that's what you should be doing. You should be going after your sponsor. Exactly right. Anyway, let's carry on. It's all about Richard Hart. Richard Hart. Hex price plunges as SEC sue Richard Hart for securities fraud. So that's you dot today. Uh, what else have we got here? SEC sues Richard Hart, founder of Hex, for raising one billion oh, raising one billion by offering unregistered securities. So he raised the money by not offering unregistered securities. I mean, this is a kind of a loophole where they go after these guys and it's quite exciting because they're taking out the big pins at the top and all the little multi-level marketers that have been promoting will probably get away with it and that's fine because they will get cocky and they'll have their day. SEC launches action against Richard Hart and his crypto projects. This is just, this is just Danny excited. SEC uh, alleges Hex founder Richard Hart illegally raised $1 billion of mis- uh, and misappropriated 12 million. Isn't it funny? You know, like when they take out somebody who's an athlete and they destroy their Achilles heel? I think that was um, not David and Goliath, but they talk about it in the Bible because I used to be a Jehovah's Witness. I'm not anymore. Don't you worry. Um, but they do talk about, you know, the Achilles heel. And it's just a little thing that you can do and cripple the biggest guy. So $12 million worth of inappropriate funds used by investors' money or people that have entrusted that he's going to keep things secure, is actually quite minute when you think about it. However, that's what that's all they need to take out this guy and lock him up. Even if it's locked up for 12 months or two years, this will kill the momentum of the company, and this is how they have to tackle these guys. All right, let's carry on. What are we up to now? Uh, so I'm going to read this one because I'll make a markup sooner or later. SEC continues its regulation by enforcement spree, charges Richard Hart of Hex with $1 billion securities fraud. Man, that's a lot of money. Um, I did have a search for him because I wanted to see what an Enigma Diamond looks like. Security charges Hex founder Richard Hart of crypto theft to fund $4 million Enigma Diamond. Wow, a $4 million diamond. Who the hell needs a $4 million diamond? Richard Hart. That's good. All right, can you read all about those? Let's keep it going. Uh, SEC sues Hex founder Richard Hart for alleged fraud and unregistered security sales. Oh, we've got similar headlines. I'm wondering which one came out with the first headline. Breaking! US SEC Richard Hart, whoops, SEC, 
C sues Richard Hart for selling unregistered hex securities. There's that guy again with the finger. Woo! Uh, now we're getting through them. Now what have we got? This one here. Ha uh, Richard Hart, 26 million. Oh, I can't even read that one. Uh, to tornado? I'm not, it could be wrong. Transaction. I, don't, I might be able to. Oh, thank goodness for that. That's what happens when you're dyslexic. Can't read through it. Richard Hart's $26 million tornado cash transactions raise sex suspicions. Tornado cash. There's somebody who's got a unique way of saying something. Okay, we've got three to go. Um, what have we got? Breaking news. Breaking. Hex token plummets 25% following SEC lawsuit against founder Richard Hart. I just thought I'd have a quick look at the Hex website. 38... Percent return a year. Hex mining averages. Averages. Imagine telling somebody that, that you can get 38% return. Is that the black diamond? <laughs> Richard Hart, the world's largest uncut diamond, called the Enigma. Uh, uh, oh, I have to read it. I never knew there was such a thing. I didn't know he was showing it off for that long. Recently, Richard Hart bought the world's largest cut diamond called the Enigma. It's billions of years old. Weighs 555.55 carat and has 55 facets. Richard renamed it to the Hex.com diamond. Wow. So you actually have a picture of the diamond. Imagine putting that on your finger. That'd be a heavy diamond. Just saying. Okay. So what we've got, we said breaking news, plummets, twin. So everyone now, because it's a Ponzi scheme, will be taking their money out. Now I have a lady who said to me she's got $40,000 with Hex. And she asked me two months ago what she should do. And I said, take your money out and run. And she goes, if I do that, I will lose 50% of it. And I said, you're about to lose 100% of it. I don't think she's taking the money out. I know you haven't, have you? You haven't. I told you to. I told you so. I told you so. I don't want to be that person. But don't invest in any of these crypto companies. Do not believe a word that comes out of their mouth. Don't watch all their advertising. Advertisers will take money from anybody, even the criminals. Hyperverse did billboard advertising throughout the world. They used money that they were selling from NFTs to, to fund this. It was just ridiculous. All right, so we've got um, SEC sues Hex founder Richard Hart for securities fraud. I think you've got the idea. Richard's been a naughty boy. Uh, now, I do have a video um, that I did uh, a wee while ago. I'm not going to do a talk over on it, but that's me. And I just wanted to play about a minute of it to you um, because this was a really funny thing. Somebody wrote to me and they said that Hex is not a scam and I do not know what I'm talking about. The person told me that I need to do more research into them. So I basically did as much research I could with my limited skills. I'm not a private detective and I'm, I'm just a, like an investigative journalist and sometimes I'm not very good at it. But I wanted a video out there so I could say, I told you so. If it involves crypto, multi-level marketing, it's a scheme. So I put this video out there. Anyway, this guy was telling me I didn't know what I was talking about. Then after I produced this video, he came back and he told me that he hadn't tested the platform. He'd never tried to take any money out of the platform because it's all locked up. And I said, well, how can you tell me it's not a scam? Even if, And this is the other thing. Just because he could have got some money out of it, they let you take a, a couple of withdrawals out because they want you to feel confident in the platform. And then they just shut everything down overnight. So right now, if you have any money in Hex, you'll be trying to rip it out regardless of the fact that um, you think that you're going to lose money you're going to lose all your money if you don't take your money out of Hex right now. It's not rocket science, it's the Hex science. All right, so let's just have a listen of me, notified when new videos come out. So there appears to be a pattern that these scam companies always use. Now, if you were one of those people that wrote to me and you were a real genuine person and you have invested, I'm sorry. However, it does seem like every time I stick my ugly head up and say something about it, a new company being a scam, I get shot down by one of these, what I call hyper zombies. Um, so I think there's a pattern. And however, I never claimed, uh, what's it so? And I never claimed my way was the only way. So, hey, look, if you want to go out there and put all your money, sell your house, sell your mother-in-law's jewellery, 
do whatever you want and put it in these schemes. That's fine. But I am the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger. I'm out here naming and shaming these people who are running these Ponzi schemes. Some of them are easier to spot than others. They are getting cleverer. Mm -hmm. So it is harder and it is just easy for me to blanket everything to do with crypto model level marketing as a scam. And then we save everyone a whole lot of pain and suffering. Imagine if the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger started offering, offering financial advice to people and he started, instead of exposing Ponzi schemes and scams, he started telling people what Ponzi schemes and scams were good to invest in. Then I'd be giving financial advice and that wouldn't be on because I'm not a financial advisor. So I said I'm very entrepreneurial and I believe selling a product or service for a profit and putting your money in, in the bank, it makes life a lot simpler than staking your money with a company that only has three years of history. I mean, three years of history, and you think that's a good thing? I'd still be very dubious. Most um, entrepreneurial businesses don't make it past the first two years, and 50% of all startups, or is that marriages? It might be marriages. I think 90% of all startups, <laughs> or entrepreneurial startups, actually fail. So I'll be honest, I haven't done an in-depth dive on hex because it just takes so much time. So this is what this video is all about, guys. I'm actually here asking you for comments. Tell me why you think I'm wrong at calling this a scam. Tell me why Hex isn't a Ponzi scheme. Also tell me why they have all these videos on the internet warning people about it being a Ponzi scheme or a scam. Tell me why the uh, Richard Hart isn't using his real name and has changed it. Is he is he taken on a stepfather's name like I have? Tell me about their product or service. Anyway, let's carry on. We won't carry on. That's it. That was it. So look at the background picture. There's Richard Hart. He's in his aeroplane. He's got it fitted out with retro bars. Doesn't look like he's going to go anywhere soon. I'm sure his passport's been removed of him. All you other scammers out there who are living in Dubai, you coward. Why don't you get cocky, get yourself in a Learjet and start traveling around the world because there's people waiting in customs who are ready to arrest you. Don't sit there in Dubai saying that you're like Sam Lee and you're untouchable. Come and get me because we can't come and get you while you're in Dubai but you can have your friends visit you who are scamming. Remember, the scam is not the Richard Hart's only. The scam is that person, that family friend that comes to you telling you that this is a good opportunity. You need to wake up. If it involves crypto, multi-level marketing, and they're offering unrealistic returns, if we just, I just have to go back and have a look at um, here. Just have a look at his website. Oh, there we go. Okay, first of all, he's got a $4 billion, million dollar, $4 million diamond sitting there. Is it $4 billion? Can't remember. I think it was $4 billion. That's a lot of money for a diamond. And also, Hex Mining averages 38% return a year. And that is just ridiculous, return on investment. Don't get involved in these crypto opportunities. Help me. Now, one other thing I will do is if you go to dehick.com, I will probably have a box pop up right now. Uh, you'll go to my website, and my website will load one day. Load, there it is, Danny Dehick. Go to dehick.com. On my website, you can see all the videos I do down the bottom. You can find all my social media along the top. I'm really approachable. Connect, reach out to me. But the one best thing you can do is click on the Contact Us page of my website, and in there I have a form where you can fill out any Ponzi schemes that you know about. Um, I want to know who your sponsors are. Um, and then uh, it can be anonymous if you want. Now, what I'm doing with this information is I have a database, and I keep it in a, a program called Millinote. And Millinote enables me, I'll just make sure it's got the right screen on it when it pops up, because I don't want you to see some of the information I have, because it's just too good to be true. You can't make up this stuff. Oh, no, there's one. Uh, where is it? Here. Yeah. So uh, I'll just show you one I'm doing at the moment, uh, workshop. So this is Yvonne Murray. Now, she's currently in Dubai with her friends. That's Tammy Jackson and that's um, Sheila Morris, which is another one. And they're all in Dubai. So at the moment, I'm building up a database about Yvonne. And then I also um, put... Um, the Ponzi schemes that she's um, associated with. So I've only started doing a database on Yvonne. But you can also go into, um, oh, i better off going to here. And you'll see I basically have um, a whole ton of 
data. I've got about 400 people that I'm gathering information on. So what I'm saying, guys, I'm not going to load that. It's just going to take too long. I've got a form here where you can provide me information. I will go after these guys. I just had one of these scammers try to sue me in the New Zealand High Court for $3.8 million. He didn't succeed. Uh, he was basically doing a pump and dump with a coin called XLN called Luna One. He did a three-month marketing campaign with a company called the... The Run Guys, who have since rebranded their YouTube channel, and they've also removed all the promotional videos they did to hide their footprint. He did a three-month marketing campaign saying that he's going to release these coins on the open market at 25 cents each. Everyone could participate in a pre-sale and purchase these coins at 15 cents each. But when they did release them on market day, they released them on 5 cents each. So people just lost their money straight away. They couldn't believe it. Then he publishes a... A, um, a, a newsletter within his website basically saying they got professional advice on the day and they thought it would be better if they released these tokens at five cents each. Everyone was in an uproar. So then I had people reaching out to me. 11,000 people participated. This guy took off with millions of dollars. And then I've got now got 45 people who have given me their names and their telephone numbers and the amount of money they've lost. It adds up to well over $800,000. I did a whole campaign of videos about this guy. Then I get a cease and desist letter earlier this year telling me to stop doing what I'm doing well he's going to sue me I told him to stuff off I actually produced a four hour 47 minute long video totally exposing the guy he was had a fake country um what else did he have a fake country he did um competitions where he was giving away two Tesla cyber trucks that don't even exist yet uh sports cars two million dollars worth of crypto and a million dollars worth of real gold and he did a whole competition about this to promote what he was doing anyway pulled my bluff and he sent me, well, he pulled my bluff. He sent me a $3.8 million lawsuit claiming defamation because I had to fame the guy. If an American wants to come after a New Zealander, our court system will ask him to put up security for costs. So we went back and said to their lawyers, well, if you're going to go after me, you need to put $150,000 in a... Um, trust fund. So when you lose, you can pay Danny de Hicks legal fees. They refused to. So then we had to apply to the courts. I sent them a 217 page affidavit showing all the things that this guy had done and also the things that he had done to defame me. If a judge opened up that affidavit, he would have been crucified. Woohoo! Anyway, so long story short, uh, they filed a discontinuance an hour and a half before that judge opened my 217 page affidavit. And now um, they have to pay my legal fees. So uh, at the moment, our legal fees were $32,000, and um, their lawyers come back and said, oh, you should have only spent $12,631 um, defending yourself against the $3.8 million lawsuit. Uh, so we've had to go back and show all our calculations and how we spent that much money, and now we've said, and by the way, we're now lost $36,000. So they need, and now we're waiting for a judge to... Um, do a ruling against Stephen McCullen to pay my uh, legal fees. Whether he pays or not, who knows, who cares. But anyway, you can't go after the crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger. I will go after these guys. I don't care what you throw at me. Um, I, I, my goal, my mission, as stated by the New York Times in uh, November the 19th or 11th, I had a full page um, article in the printed paper and the online paper about my quest to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. When I did this video about Richard Hart, I didn't know who the hell he was really. I didn't know much about it, but if it smells uh, like a Ponzi scheme, if it um, sounds too good to be true, you can just about get what well, you can guarantee. I haven't found a, a, a legitimate investment opportunity yet. Stop looking for them. They don't exist. Go get a product or a service, make a small profit, put that money in the bank, and save money. Stop handing over your money to these scammers. They will just go buy big diamonds, $4 million diamonds. I think it was a $4 million diamond. What? Enigma diamond. Who the hell needs an Enigma, Enigma diamond? I don't know. Hey, it's been great. Thanks for watching. I'm back with play. I'm Danny the Heck, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Bye.